that process provided the environment to showcase the huge talent that we have, you know, um, in this part of Africa. Just extraordinary talent, you know, just erupting like a volcano, you know. And um, yeah, photography provides me that opportunity to tell their stories. My name is Kelechi, Kelechi Amadubi. I'm a photographer. Oh well, I've always been a storyteller. I love, you know, um, expressing myself through visual arts. So I started as a painter and then gradually morphed into photography about, let's say, 15 to 20 years ago. And um, yeah, it's been fun. Fashion photography is one of my, um, you know, the genre of photography that I'm very passionate about. I love it basically because um, it does provide a, a, an environment for you to, to experiment and to express yourself even more. Especially for fashion editorials, you know, which is the kind of fashion shoots you put in, in, in the fashion magazine, okay? Um, it is part advertising and then part pure fine art, you know? So you, you, you have the designer's clothes that you're, you're going to give them credit for and talk about things, the editorials. But then sometimes the, the artist, the photographer just has complete creative license. You know, sometimes even make political statements, you know, with a fashion editorial. So that is what I love, you know, about that. You see, I used to publish a magazine. I still publish, you know, now online. Um, Mania, um, Style Mania magazine. And we, we would shoot fashion editorials every month. You know, sometimes four fashion editorials in a month. And um, that process provided the environment to showcase the huge talent that we have, you know, um, in this part of Africa. Just extraordinary talent, you know, just erupting like a volcano, you know. And um, yeah, photography provides me that opportunity to tell their stories. Photography has sort of exploded um, in, in tandem with the explosion of the social media. You know, the digital um, world you know, it's an overload of information and it's a content hungry monster that is constantly looking for content. And, um, you know, there's a lot of pressure on, on image makers to produce um, enough material to assuage the hunger of social media, the internet and the rest of it. From corporate, you know, people, from business people to individuals just trying to promote themselves. Every day it is rising. So as a result, we have a complete proliferation of you know, image makers. But unfortunately, what is also a bit of a problem is that because there is no regulation and there are no proper world-class institutions that will train these people, people are just going with the flow. As a result, maybe you may, you may start finding a lot of people losing confidence because somebody will just come out get a nice following on Instagram and then he becomes a professional and then starts to collect money from people yet he doesn't really know what he, you know that knob on the camera where you have M he has never put his camera on M manual there is no formula there is no formula to art you have to find your path you know, you, you can learn from the wisdom of our ancestors, you know, photographers past. But then, your job is to take that wisdom, put it in your pocket, and then find your own way, you know, and then start your own path, you know. It's not everybody that will come along and get something original. A lot of people will be doing what fella calls follow, follow, you know, but, um, at the end of the day, you would find those rare gems of stubborn individuals who would insist on their own path. And those are the pathfinders, you know? So there is no particular way. There may be a way, a map, that will take you to Ojelagba, but that's not the only way to get to Ojelagba. Some people go by foot, some will go by witchcraft, and others will fly, others will take the waterways. You never know, 
you could find a new path. Well, Fashion Week is around the corner and then um, looking at that and looking at, you know, going through the memory lane and how it has evolved. You know, look, I mean, the speed at which things are moving now, I mean, I start to see myself in one kind of funny way. It's like things have moved, I mean, moving from film to digital to social media. When I finished my university education, I was listening to Bill Clinton talk about the World Wide Web. <laughs> I don't know if you get what I mean, what you people call WW, and I used to say, what is World Wide Web? You know? And then my younger sister says, you need to get a computer. I said, what am I going to do with a computer? Why don't you buy a TV? She said, no, you need a computer. I said, for what? She still couldn't tell me. I don't know if you understand. I'm just telling you, this is like after I left school, so I start to learn about this new world. So the fashion industry in Nigeria then, I could still remember the first makeup artist I met. Tall guy, said his name was Bio Hastrop. And I said, what do you do? He said, I'm a makeup artist. I said, what do you mean? They're like, makeup, that's your job. He said, yes. I said, that's serious. There were no stylists. <laughs> Not that I knew of. Just designers helping you dress girls. They never called themselves stylists. I still remember the first stylist I met I was brought in from South Africa to style a shoot I was doing. And Omoyomi Akarele was a trainee stylist under him. You understand? So looking at those periods and looking at what has happened now, where everybody, everybody is a makeup artist, everybody is a photographer, and everyone wants to be a fashion designer. Creating these fashion weeks over these years has helped create, you know, what do I put it? A, a kind of pattern of organization because it is after the fashion week that we then know who are the fashion designers that are, we're, we're going to watch out for the next year. I don't know if you understand. People from all over the world come to look at that fashion week and pick who they want to do use in their own fashion week. And it's provided a beautiful conduit for promotions and the smooth running of the fashion industry. So I, I think it's such a wonderful thing. I love that, you know, um, Lagos Fashion Week being sponsored by Henneken is still on, moving strong. And um, GT Fashion Week is also strong and moving on. And um, every year, it seems to expand and the, the people doing it are getting more experience and it's become a norm now, which is wonderful. I remember when we were saying there's no fashion week in Nigeria because then, you know, we had a rise fashion week. A guy called Lexi Mojo I used to do Nigerian fashion week, you know, and it, it, it wasn't that constant, you know. Now we know once it's October, this is fashion week. Everybody has so people are preparing for it. So I'm, I'm really excited. I mean, uh, for, um, for, for Lagos Fashion Week, I'm going to have my, you know, I usually build a set and then I pick people at random from the audience and create a photo shoot. And um, I'm looking forward to that. What I want to do, I mean, with my life, you know, is you know, work on my skills, tell those stories, expose good stuff, really. The bigger story for me is how do we change the image of this continent? Africa itself, they say the dark continent is full of penury, darkness, Boko Haram, death, kidnapping. And you see, every continent, every people have their own bad sides. But you know, you cannot really get a people to one story, like Chimamanda said in one of her talks. So we need to find a, a wider, perspective, the good, the bad, the ugly, but how many people are photographing the good? So what I'm doing is trying to show that side, you know, of our life that brings hope, you know, and if we end up teaching one or two younger photographers how to also make these kind of images, we could start a movement. So I have a YouTube channel where I show people how I'm making my images, people can learn, um, even on my Instagram, I'm giving little nuggets of wisdom. You know, when people ask, how did you do this? I like to let them know. And um, so based on that, we could help, you know, um, people along the way. And I give 
an inordinate amount of talks and lectures and workshops that I do every year, you know, to help people. And I'm always really uh, happy when somebody comes to meet me and say, look, you know, I decided to take up photography because I came for that, your workshop and you, you spoke to us. And hello, my name is Kelechi Amadiobi, and I'm going to have my special marquee as usual, making fashion shoots at Lagos Fashion Week. Be there and keep watching Guardian TV.